here we have our 1990 Suzuki Every. This is the Aero Tune trim level. So it's a bit different from the typical Every van because it has a bunch of Aero kind of add-ons on the exterior here. So you can see that front bumper there has a bit more of a lip. There's some side skirts going along the sides and then you have a lip spoiler on the back up here um, and overall it just has a bit of a more aggressive look than your typical every van um, this one is also the turbocharged version so turbo intercooler uh, quite a bit more power out of this one than your typical k van and a lot of fun to drive this one is a five speed manual um, everything feels tight and sippy if there was a sports car version of the vans, this would be it. And it looks the part too, I mean it looks like a speedy little van going fast standing still. So I'm going to the interior here. You can see it also has a pretty cool steering wheel. That is the factory wheel. Um, but this is it was kind of made to look like a tuner version of the K-Van, a tuner's take on one. So 76,000 kilometers on the odometer, that has not rolled over. And you've got the same dash that you would find in any Every or um, any carry truck from this generation, but you do have a tachometer in this one and the special red print in the gauges. Um, other trims will have just the white. I can go ahead and start it up. You can see it just purrs. It is so quiet in here at idle. Um, you don't get a lot of engine noise at all. You can see, you saw it for a second when I flipped the key on, but there's a little turbo light down there. So once you get the turbo to spool up, that will actually come on. So that's pretty cool. AM radio. Um, you do have AC in this one, and it does work. It works pretty well. Bogs down the engine a little bit because this is a very small engine, and AC takes a lot of that power, but it is there as an option. See that five-speed manual with an interesting shift knob. It's a massive shift knob. Um, pretty comfortable in the hand. No complaints there. And then you also have the typical Suzuki handbrake, which is a bit backwards. So to release, you let it down forward like that. To engage, you pull it back towards you. It's just more vertical than a typical handbrake. So, yeah, that's about it for the front here. Visors, light, basics. I'll go ahead and shut that down. Manual windows on this one. You also have some pretty big side mirrors here, so visibility is great. Um, from every angle, visibility is awesome out of these. And another thing I didn't point out, it has some pretty cool fog lights in the front here. And you also have intercooler printed on the bumper where the air is flowing into it. There are just a lot of really cool touches like that. Um, something that's sort of interesting to me is you have a little side rail here that looks like it would be a step, but it says no step, so you're not allowed to step on the step in this van for whatever reason. I think that's just the added side skirt though. Um, but yeah, clean interior in the back here. You get two seats, four seats total. Um, carpets are clean, no tears or stains in the seats. Headliner's in great shape. And you also have split windows in this one, so that's something that a lot of people seek out with these vans is um, you have the ability to open the windows and the side doors just kind of halfway. And it does have dual side doors, so the larger vans from Japan will have the opening door only on the passenger side, but these K-Vans have it on both, which is perfect for loading things 
and or people in and out of these vans. Both the doors slide fine, no issues there. And in the back here, a ton of cargo space. We've got some rails along here to hang stuff from. Um, but yeah, high roof in this one and just all kinds of space to put your stuff. There's your little oval shaped muffler down there. 660cc turbo intercooler. And it looks like this was a company vehicle um, before it was sold at auction. It's still got the print on the side and the telephone number. So that's pretty cool to see as well. And that actually hints at the fact that it was very well maintained. Um, from a mechanical standpoint, this looks really good. Um, comes back with a clean bill of health. Oh, and one last note, it's full-time four-wheel drive. So kind of an all-wheel drive system. Um, really, this is the perfect setup for a van. Everything that people ask us for in a van, you know, manual transmission, turbo, intercooled, um, passenger van. This has it all, so, and pretty low mileage at that. So you can find more information on our website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. Thank you for watching.